Hey trappers, uh, we're back here in my shed and after some folks saw me cut the glands out of that red fox, um, I had some requests to show how to extract the essence from a skunk. Uh, and I want to start by saying I am not an expert um, on skunks. There's a lot of guys in the ADC business and some western trappers um, who are real experts at doing skunk essence but this is how i do it um i'll show you how i take the essence out and also if you want to save the pods themselves um and rot them down to make lower or lower additive i'll show you how to take them out too but first off um i want to start by saying when you do skunks you need a sharp blade um, a brand new razor blade a super sharp knife you don't want to mess around with a dull cutting tool when you're doing skunks. All right, first off, when you're skinning the animal, I said something similar when doing the red fox around the vent. Uh, when you're skinning a skunk, you definitely wanna angle your blade to the outside all the way around so you do not hit those sacks. Um, especially, you know, with a skunk, you wanna leave a wide area of fur because some skunks have pretty big pods. This, this is a really big skunk, probably one of the biggest skunks I've ever caught. And it has some really big pods. But after your animal's skinned, um, basically what all you really need to do is, now I've worked at this a little bit, but you pull your skin up and you just expose that pod ever so slightly. Now right there is the pod, as you can see. It, it's red. And that is what you're going to want to put your syringe into to get the essence out. And same on this side. Just slowly cut through the fat, ever so slowly. Take your time. And once you start seeing that red, that's the pod right there. And like I said, there's lots of different ways to do this. I don't consider myself an expert. Actually, what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna cut that a little bit just to show you how full those pods are. Okay, next, gonna get a syringe. Um, I believe, I don't know what the recommended um, needle is for, for taking skunk essence. I believe this is just a 16 gauge needle, which is what I have. But as you can see, that syringe is full of water. Um, this I actually learned off uh, out of Bob Wentz video that that skunk essence will just totally eat away the plunger um, in a syringe. So after every skunk, you would definitely want to wash your syringe out and then store some water in it. Um, and that keeps your plunger lasting quite a bit longer. So before you pull the essence, you want to, you want to squirt that water out. Make sure it's all out. And then it's just as simple as punching in there and start drawing the essence out. And this skunk has a lot. Oh, wow. I don't know, my CC marks are gone on this bad boy. But I'm gonna put it over here in my jar. My bottle. Let's I'm going to go back in there because there might be a little bit more in there that I couldn't draw out. Nope, I pretty much had it all. Only a tiny little bit there. I'm, I'm getting into the cheese, that whitish yellow, um, more solid substance is what they call the cheese in skunk essence. Look at the size of that pod. I'm gonna actually get rid of this first because it was so full. Okay, just punch in there and pull your essence. I don't know how big this syringe is, but if I have to look, but this is a lot of this. I'm gonna go back in, see if I can get any more out of there. Oh, 
Nope, I had it. I had just about most of it. There you can see the cheese in there. All right. Now, to cut the gland itself out, all you really need to do is just pull that fur away. Stay. There you see, I believe those are the testicles coming out. You just don't want to go super deep. You're going to find a vent here shortly. Right here it is. At that point, you just kind of cut that fur. There's the vent. There's the, there's the skin and the fur that was on the... Now, I'm going to just kind of pull it away and cut at the same time. There's the one side, there's the other side. There's part of the intestine. All right, there are your two skunk bags. All right, those ones there, now they're empty, so they're hard to see, but there's one, there's the other one. And then you just pull it away. You don't want a whole lot of that intestine on there and the fecal matter that's in it. There are your skunk bags. I just let that fat on there and rot it down right with it. So hopefully you could see what I was doing there. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment down below. And if this video helped you out, give me a like. Thanks a lot.